someone should make use of it. Surprise contact. Engaging. Ambush. Defensive protocols engaged. If you're listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The Indexers have one purpose, 
to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Good. You are across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? That's a decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. The system has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Another data block retrieved. One more to go. Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Intrusive program detected. Verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream where this memory was stored. Memory file identification. 0V-9AX0. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Far Harbor. Several of my people have been assaulted, spat at, interrogated for no reason. This is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. It'll double as a place to bury the evidence. Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the VIM. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded.
Intrusion detected. Countermeasures initiated. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. Memory retrieval now at 60%. Memory retrieval at 100%. Verifying. Looks good. You can now use the data stream as an access point to the next memory. Memory file identification 0J-2NN8. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I'm offloading this memory. I cannot bear lying to Confessor Martin and his children of Adam any longer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key to fire the nuclear missile inside the submarine. Confessor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction at the hands of an atomic blast. He struggles with how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. I can't risk him deciding to find the key and use it. His people were the first to... accept me for what I am. The thought of them being gone fills me with nothing but pain. Additional data appended. Location, the Harbor Grand Hotel safe room. Key code, 485130.
Data breach detected. Initiating anti-intrusion countermeasures. Intrusive program detected. Intrusive program detected. Data block retrieved. Progress. Complete memory retrieved. The data stream is now available to access the next memory. Memory file identification. 0H-3X0P. Convert it to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've made a contingency plan in case Far Harbor discovers the truth, or gives in to their xenophobia despite all my efforts. I've isolated the wind turbine powering Far Harbor's fog condensers. A kill switch command will leave them defenseless from the fog and its creatures. But now that it's done, am I really capable of this? This massacre that I've engineered? I'm going to remove the command code from my memories. I'll bury a hard copy if I need to use it. But I can't keep it close to me. It makes me sick. Additional location data appended. Coordinates to the kill switch command code and the wind farm maintenance building.
Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Warning. Data breach detected. Intrusion countermeasures initiated. Security alert. Intrusion detected in long-term storage. Beginning attrition of intrusive program. First data block recovered. Good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. That's 100% verified. Good job. You can use the data stream to access the next memory, as usual. Identification 0Z-7A4K Converted to audio transcription Beginning playback Get away from me! What the hell are you? It's me. We escaped the Institute together. You're my brother. I don't have a brother. The name's Nick Valentine. And no one in my family tree is a plastic skin freak. You're just confused. Let me help. Stay away from me! I don't want to hurt you! Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Security alert. Data breach detected. Countermeasures initiated. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. Complete memory retrieved. You can exit the simulation at any time. Memory file identification 0Y-8K7D. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've discovered a curious record inside the pre-war data files of this submarine base. 
The Marines here were equipped with an advanced model of combat armor. There are several suits already in the base, in various states of deterioration. But there were more shipments of the armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition if the sealants have held. I have no use for them, but you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional data appended. Armor shipments tracking information. Coordinates downloaded. Exiting simulation in three, two, one. Hey. Go ahead. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. That's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? I'll keep. Don't worry. I just need to figure this all out. It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Actually, I think I already found something inside of Dima's memories. Take a listen. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Take it easy, Valentine. People forget things. Especially after something traumatic, like what happened between you and Dima. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old synth. Make up for lost time. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. I can barely tell us apart.
light guide you.
got it. about infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a synth. Did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing? God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours.
not that it's an option.
Is it going to be painful? 